Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to begin PowerPoint. What we are going to do this week is we are going to create a PowerPoint that is a story, a very simple story that's animated for kids. So you can use your creative side. Um, you don't have to be looking up information. We can concentrate on using the different parts of PowerPoint and learning how it works. Um, and we can be using some of our skills we've learnt, used in Word and Excel, and we can be transferring those because PowerPoint works in much the same way that Word and Excel did with our fonts and colors and word art and things like that. So when we go to PowerPoint and we open up a blank presentation, the first thing that's going to show up is our title page. So you're going to insert a title. So Buster goes to school. This is a title, so it's title case. Do not forget that. So for mine, I did Buster Goes to School because that's going to be the title of my story. And then you want to say who the story is by. So when Miss Laurent grades it, she knows who it's by. Now you have two options after this. You can create your own background here, or you can go to design and it comes up with automatic backgrounds. This is a great option a lot of time if you're doing a more formal presentation because this is a story. It's better to leave it blank and go change your backgrounds one by one. So you can go to right click for back background, which I think is the easiest way to do it. And go to gradient and change the colors. Okay. And there we go. If you want to change the text color to something just like we did in Word, you come over here to the home tab. You can change it, or you can just do a basic blue or black. Okay. Then, to insert a new tab, you go to the home. There's a new slide. So we're going to click on the new slide button to insert a new slide. And I'm going to select the blank one. There's different options, so you can choose what option you would like. But I'm going to choose the blank one because we're going to sort of be customizing this because it's a story. Now. Let's say I've gone out to the internet and I've saved a picture. So I've right clicked on a picture, saved picture as, and saved it as my H drive as we've done before. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to change the background to one of those pictures we saved on our H drive. So you right click, you go to format background, and where it says picture or text fill, you click here. Then you can come here to all the textures or you can go to file and you can go select this picture. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's say I did a picture of the quad at Mizzou. So here's where Buster's going to go to school. As we know, he all has great taste because he's going to Mizzou and not Illinois, right? So now we're going to insert a text box and we're going to write our text here at the top. Buster was so excited to head off to school. He woke up extra early that day so he could be the first, my fingers aren't working this morning, to ride. You want to change, once again, the text color, the size. You do this simply by going to our home tab. You can change the size, oops, not that big. You can change the alignment, whatever works for you. Now we got to go get Buster. You can get Buster from the internet or you can get him from Clipart. So I'm going to go insert from clip art this time. So I'm going to go insert clip art. And I'm going to say dog. Okay. I'm going to go find Buster. Which one do we think looks like a good Buster? There we go. There's Buster. I think that looks like a good Buster, don't you? We got to give Buster a suitcase, right? Gotta take his stuff with him. So we'll insert a suitcase. The suitcase can't be bigger than Buster. And so here's Buster 
with his suitcase. Now, let's say I want these to be walking in Buster and a suitcase together. I need to connect these two pictures. The way we do this is we group the pictures if we want them to move together. So I do this by clicking on Buster and then hitting Control and clicking on the suitcase. Now you have two options. You can come up to the picture tools and go to group and select group. Or you can right click on the pictures, go to group and group. So this makes this one picture now. So these two are connected. So if I move Buster, the suitcase moves with him. So then if I want Buster to come running in because he's so excited, I can go here to animations. Once I have the picture selected, I can go to animations. There's all kinds of entrance, emphasis, or exit. So I can have him come in and go out even. So I'm going to have him fly in. Oh, he flies in from the bottom. I don't want that. So if I go back to animations, there's effect options, and I can have him fly in from the right. He's running in because he's very excited, just like you all ought to get here to school. Okay? So that is the animation. So if you want something to move, animations is your option. There's even custom ones. So like if you wanted him to then do a jump or something like that, um, you can even have them do that. So if we had a rock here, let's say we wanted to put a rock in. Oh, well, maybe we're going to put a rock in. See, we got this guy over at the end, and we want him to go jump out. So our second animation, the animation, oh, you guys click on Buster, though, not that. You got to go to animations, and then there's custom ones here. So we could go arc, and what we want to happen is for him Oops. you can change these so he just jumps on out okay so then we can go to slideshow say current slide we can have him jump on out so there's different options there that we can do If you don't like something, hit Edit and Undo. So let's say I want to get rid of the frog. I just hit Edit and Undo four or five times, and then I got rid of it. Now I would go back, because I didn't like how that looked, to Slideshow from current slide. And here comes Buster running in again. I like that better than the other. Okay. So. Those are our animations. Our transitions are slide to slide. So if we want, once when it goes from one slide to another slide to look a little different, those are our transitions. Once again, there's a whole bunch of options here of what you want it to look like. It's totally up to you. So to see our slideshow, we go to slideshow from beginning and from current slide. You can see from either. So if we want to see it from the beginning, and it transitions over, and then on mouse clip. You can set these up to automatically change, but we're not going to do that today because we have lots of new stuff that I've showed you today. So we don't really want to go into that kind of detail. That'll be something we talk about tomorrow. So that's enough basics for you to get started. I'd like you to get your hands on the, the software and get, get started and see how it goes. Um, so let me check it out um, as you guys get started, and I'll come around if you guys have individual questions, and then I'll take questions again at the end of the hour and beginning of tomorrow if something comes up, okay?
All right, let's get started. Remember, you're creating a story. That's a very simple story for kids. Okay, it should be very simple for kids. And remember, it needs to be school appropriate, so I don't want to see guns or knives or anything like that, please. All right? Have fun.